Sit, my friend, for our tale is not yet done. Our hundredth chapter we reach today, and a hundred more it may be, for the war against tyranny and oppression has no end. For Partia al-It, the journey has been long and arduous, but his return home and the relative peace does not signal the setting of the sun. From humble merchant's son to beloved sultan, never in his wildest dreams would he have imagined it. How could he? Such office was reserved for royal bloodlines, and without such fortune, it was a fool's errand to have such aspirations. But Asura has set aside for us our portions, and since his family shattered, Sultan al-It was on a path that he would not understand for years to come. You know it is destiny. In Kuyaz, they call it al qadr In Sanala, they call out Maktoub. In Hassan Falk, we call it Kismat. His decision to serve Sultan Unqid, his survival against the starkest of odds in battle time and time again, his rise among the nobles, the hubris and downfall of Unqid, all to let a merchant boy rise to power? What else could it be but the divine work of Asara? Now, the Sultan would refute such divine connections, of course, but that, that is what makes him all the more appealing to the common folk. He is not of royal stock, and yet, he is royalty. He is not of noble stock, and yet, he is nobility. He is not divine, and yet. But I digress. Having slain countless bandits, he rests now at Sargot. But he knows his rest cannot last long, for he knows there is still much to do, whether he wishes to or not. In Hassan Falk, we call it Kismat. In Sanala, they call out Maktoub. In Kuyaz, they call it al qadr You, my friend, know it is destiny. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another chapter of the adventures of Partia al-Eat in Bannerlord. Indeed, there is little time to rest. War will be at our borders in due time, and before then there is much that needs doing. And so we begin our hundredth chapter in the adventures of Partia al-Eat, arm in arm with Lady Arwa, with her eyes to the horizon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. What an adventure it has been. A hundred episodes. I just want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for joining me in this journey and for being a part of what has been a rather epic tale. At least that's the word I would use to describe it. I hope at least some of y'all will agree. From being a literal nobody outside the walls of Hassan Falk and witnessing its fall this it's uh it's quite it's quite grand but let's not talk too much about the past let's keep our eyes as i said to the horizon looking ahead and to what comes next there has been a lot of fantastic counsel both in the comments of the previous episode and in the discord again folks if you aren't already in the discord link is in the description down below don't hesitate to join in it is a fantastic community uh, but there has been a lot of conversation, a lot of back and forth with regards to what comes next, both, you know, in terms of what Partia Al-Eat does next and what Party Elite does for episode 100. You might have noticed this episode is just a little bit longer than the usual. We have to commemorate big milestones one way or another, right? And uh, that should allow for this episode to be quite densely packed with all sorts of activities and all sorts of progress. Now, at any point in time, at any point in time, again, like I said, war might be at our borders. It's only a matter of time, really, before the Asurai decide that 2,000 soldiers is enough to take us on with. Or perhaps the Sturgians will go ahead and say, 1,700, we can take a few castles with that. It is only a matter of time. The Kuzate are probably appeased for at least some time, what would the... Uh, tribute we've been paying them, marginal as it is, the Batanians are almost certainly not going to declare war on us, but with that said, you know, what is worth more to them? Dinars or land? We'll find out, I'm sure, soon enough. The Western Empire as well, I assume, is placated, though we might wish to seek out war with them to just reduce that well, just to reduce them, I guess, not just the uh, tribute we pay them. Though, if we're if we're thinking about tributes, the priority would probably be the Batanians. And then, of course, there's the Valandians as well, who might decide that this tribute isn't enough, in fact, and uh, they would like to regain some of their lost territories. 
war could come from anywhere. And so we have to take advantage of this peace, I would say for as long as it'll last, but that's not necessarily true. I think in, or by the end of this session, if no one proves to be the aggressor, then it might be our turn to be the aggressor. I think we might actually be the ones declaring war with full intent this time. I mean, to be fair, we did it against the Kuzate as well. That was our war that we fought and we took our, obj our primary objectives very happy with how that turned out, but uh, but yes, the next declaration of war might actually be from us. Now, it was pointed out to me that there is a lot of support for uh, war against the Western Empire, so that's something worth considering as well. Is what the uh, you know what you all as council want in the comments and all that, and what uh, what the council in in the world also I guess in the game also wants. So Volandia and the Western Empire, there's a lot of support for war against them. Um, from our nobles and the council, so that's something to think about as well. But but anyway, I, again, not, now I'm looking too far to the future. I was looking to the past, and now I'm looking too far to the future. Let us look to the present, and the present involves still chasing after more nobles. Uh, if we take a look at our uh, sorry, if we take a look at our clan or sorry, our kingdom screen, you can see that we have quite a few clans right. Now. Actually, you know what? This looks a lot better than I was expecting. Now, to be fair, two of these guys are of course um, mercenary bands. But but even still, you know, they, they, they still fight for us. We are still in the middle of, you know, two wars, of course, against the Western and Southern Empire. The Southern Empire, which, by the way, was crushed at the end of the uh, previous session. Uh, there was a war or there was a battle that happened um, elsewhere, and we just saw the results of it. We got our prisoners out of it, and uh, these guys have been reduced to nothing. And yet they still stand. Honestly, I wish they would just get executed or something. Uh, the Northern Empire as well, you know, they still have... A little something going on but, but but whatever i mean i'm point being the mercenaries do have things to do and we're making sure that nobody else is able to hire them in the meanwhile but yeah we have gained quite a few clans but as many of you have noted and as i have noted as well uh, a couple of these clans at least rather a few of these clans technically speaking are uh you know dangerously flimsy with just one person and we need to make sure we have sort of replacements in place for them, not just for the purpose of, you know, replacing them, but but also for the purpose of stability of the realm. A very important thing to keep in mind is that having more nobles at this stage provides us with more stability, with more options, with more vassals to, to whom to, you know, distribute lands. There's a lot of benefit that comes with it. So that is still one of our top priorities, as is the conversation of trade, which I want to be doing more of in this you know, again, short duration of peace that we have. I want to travel north. I want to pick up more goods. I want to travel south. I want to sell those goods, go back and forth a little bit, perhaps. I want to see if we can improve our trade skills so we can actually trade fiefs in conversation. That would be absolutely huge. A pipe dream, perhaps. Uh, uh, a shisha dream or a hookah dream, perhaps, but uh, but maybe one worth having. Uh, one that we'll try pursuing at least for, uh, for a little while. I don't know how much of this is actually profitable. No, I'm going to go until like here, until this stays yellow. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the near future, I think, for, for Partia Al-Eat is, um, is to look for more nobles, look for opportunities to trade, look for uh, more bandit camps to clear out, uh, and then either have war declared upon us, in which case we would defensively conquer, or... Uh, be the be, be be the aggressors instead uh you know it's, it's it's nice to do that every once in a while to be to be in control of your own destiny if you will um but yeah that's uh spelling out the plan as we uh we take a look at some of these equipment pieces and things like that should be an interesting time today it should be an interesting time today i think this is all we'll be able to do over here i don't think that'll be i don't think that'll do anything for my trade skill anything i can buy over here that i can sell elsewhere again trying to uh trying to embrace that humble life for, uh, for as long as Asura will let me. Ooh, lots of linen we can pick up over here. Stays pretty cheap all the way through, actually. Ah, that's pretty good. Um, and there's also actually been suggestions with regards to my uh, workshops, which I'll be looking into as well, because we have a couple of workshops that are wasteful. Uh, I buy some grain over here. We have a fair bit of food, 42 days of food. Um, we are riding with an army, so they might run out of food a little bit sooner, I suppose. So it might not be a terrible idea to have a little bit of extra. I mean, again, we do have 
we've got a lot of money. You know what, let's go ahead and pick up some grain. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up some grain. We might buy some more horses as well now that our numbers have filled up a bit. Oh, look at that. Go over our capacity. Now, the thing about capacity is that going over capacity slows us down, which isn't the biggest deal at a time of peace or at a time of war with, you know, pathetic factions. But I want to make sure I am never in a position where I see someone that I want to talk to and they get away from me because I'm carrying, you know, too much wool or, or something silly like that. Uh, that would, that would, that would, oh, I don't even want to think about that. And we don't even need food that urgently. What I could do now, though, is I could sell some stuff over here. I've, I've got a lot of, you know, junk armor and whatnot uh, that is just kind of being dragged along. I can go ahead and dump... Uh, there are these woodlands boots. We can go ahead and dump these eastern leather boots. These are pretty heavy, actually. So let's go ahead and dump a bunch of these. And they still have money. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm going to pick up some more horses, like I said. Uh, and I, I do apologize if I am a bit of a broken record today. Uh, I will try and avoid it. But knowing the uh, task I had ahead of me, I have ahead of me, sorry, the length of the task I have ahead of me, uh, I will almost certainly want to, you know, I'll, I'll be double checking myself every once in a while. Just want to get that apology in there nice and early. Oh, yeah, these can sell for, for a decent bit. Uh, we're almost done here. Not not planning on staying at uh, at Sargut for too long. Um, we're mostly actually quite ready to 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 move forward from you know home, if you will. We can now go further north and further south. We've done. It's uh, it's so difficult to uh, and there was a lot of counsel on on this topic as well. And it's very difficult to pick the uh the right step in terms of how i want to distribute my soldiers done here yeah we're done here so what am i talking oh yes excellent gained a skill point in trade gained a skill point in trade how many more to go <laughs> i don't know if i want the answer to that question quite a few quite a few more to go everything has a price it is higher now than it used to be it used to be 255 now it requires skill level 300 which funnily enough how am I ever supposed to get to? If this is the the cap, this is not our hard cap, but this is our soft cap from where learning becomes slower. We have maxed out our focus points here, and we've maxed out our social skills here, and yet our limit, despite being, like our backstory being all mercantile and whatnot, how is that, what? <laughs> Uh, okay. Well then, uh, is it even something worth pursuing then? I don't know. I mean, there, there's good stuff to be had for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's good, there's other benefits to, to reap, but like, that's kind of weird. I anyway. Anyway, we'll, 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 we'll deal with that later. Um, right, in terms of soldiers, if I take a look at, like, Ottawa's party is very well set up. Uh, my own party, I'm pretty happy with how it's set up. Again, you, I've, I've reorganized this, so we've got infantry up top. They should be organized by rank, so you can see we've got a good spread right now. A fair number of... Now, these guys have been set aside because I want to drop them off somewhere as garrison. Mm, but you can see, like, we've got a decent number of Valanian billmen, some Valanian swordsmen, some decent, you know, tier tier fours up over here, a little spread out. These trained infantrymen will rank up pretty quickly, I imagine. So we're doing all right we're doing all right in terms of infantry quality i don't know 27 recruits though so. okay i take it back we need a lot of training down here uh in terms of ranged i mean i'm very happy with a ranged contingent over here valanian sharpshooters 26 asari master archers 25 uh we've got a couple of batanian fians as well as a few batanian batanian fian champions that's pretty good hardened crossbows these guys the valanian hardened crossbows they will end up as sharpshooters soon enough well, that's very good to see as well. Um, I mean, honestly, like I'm, I'm very pleased with our ranged contingent. In terms of our horse archers, actually, this needs a little bit of reorganizing. My apologies there. Um, in terms of our horse archers, we're pretty good as well. 37 Asteroid Mamluk Heavy Cavalry. They've done well for us, I would say. Uh, we've got quite a few Kuzate riders as well that are climbing up the ranks, climbing up the ladder. So we have some options with them, and, and some of those options do include our melee cavalry, which is also looking pretty good. I mean, again, I wouldn't mind more numbers for our melee cavalry, but 
feeling feeling pretty good about uh, about how you know this is looking kind of uh, i do want to do one thing actually since we're over here i want to make sure that our imperial infantrymen let's get you guys into group i don't figure out what's like most habitual for me it's been so long since i've done this group group eight sure that's the infantrymen uh valandian footmen let's get you in group eight as well this is so that we can train them separately when the time and opportunity presents itself. Imperial recruits. Eight. Eight. And then make sure... I got. I could also, you know, focus on training my lower tier ranged units. Alright, sure, let's do that. Let, let's try it, let's try it. A, a lot to juggle um, at present to make sure we are ready for the future. Now, uh, the, the, what I was mentioning earlier as well, I believe, was about uh, the various suggestions I've been receiving in the comments. Some, well, many, most, many, many, many were of the opinion that I should actually just, you know, empty out some of these high-tier garrisons that don't need to be so high-tier, like at Charas. And I agree. But the issue I'm facing is where do I put them? I suppose I could put them at Vanilla. That's, you know, at least closer to the Western Empire. Closer to at least one front. Close-ish to, uh... To the Kazate. Close-ish. The Batanians. I, I, I really wish we'd got uh, Dynastica. Yeah, that would have made that conversation super easy. The, the, the idea behind this suggestion, or, or, or the push behind this suggestion to empty out, like, Charas and Ortizia and all that stuff, uh, was to strengthen the uh, garrisons... Whoops. Was to strengthen the garrisons in Asurai territories uh, for two reasons. One I, was to you know protect against Kuzate aggression, and the other was to have as a store of high quality soldiers at like Sanala or something, where we can you know, should we befall the most horrible of fates, we'd be able to retreat back to there and have a, have an army at the ready. I, I like both of those in theory, you know. Um, but it's just a matter of like, okay, well, do we want to risk exposing Jacqueline, Sargat, or Charas to have a backup army at Sanala? Where on the flip side, if the worst were to befall us and we were to, you know, be captured and lose our entire army, we could just as easily go to Charas or Sargat or Ortizia or Jacqueline and pick up those high tier units, right? Rather than pull the high tier garrison back to safety. Um, because I think I think we've proven time and time again that the AI is not interested in engaging something like uh, Sarg. I mean, Sargot might still be at risk. I don't know, 400, 527 defenders. I mean, it might still be at risk. Charas is, is relatively safe from what we've seen. You know, do we want to keep the AI from from engaging over here and also have the the reinforcing army uh, I, I, that that's what i'm leaning towards which is why i've kind of kept things unchanged and again if dynastica was ours and, I, and by ours i mean you know of the al eat clan i would feel very comfortable shifting garrison over knowing that i would still have access to them again in that worst case scenario where i need that backup army which is why i'm kind of on this uh on this train of recruiting more low tier soldiers because as these low tier soldiers get trained up some of them i'm willing to drop off and donate to other garrisons um to not take away from where things are strong. And again, if we were to strengthen other garrisons, we wouldn't be paying the wages for those garrisons. Uh, garrisons that don't belong to the al Eat clan, right? So there's a balancing act there. Right now, we're at a point where, yes, some of these... Oh my god, Einbalik Castle. What is what is the garrison at Einbalik Castle? You know what? It's massive because we... Uh, I believe that's where we dropped a bunch of our soldiers off. And Sargot, we're paying a lot at Sargot as well, and at Charas too. Oof. Nonetheless, my point being, what I was getting at, <laughs> sorry, is uh, we're we're able we we have a we have an economy that is big enough to sustain those garrisons. I don't think we have to pull away from any of them. Maybe Charas, maybe only because it is nestled and protected. But if I were to pull away from Charas, I would put them down at Lanaken Castle, which is exposed inside Batanian territory. That's what I would do. I think. <laughs> I think. Rather than... Uh... Okay, something to think about. Uh, for now, though, let's go ahead and leave... Well, check the Tavern District here. Ah, we don't want the one watchman. Let's leave Sargot. 
Let's make our way over to, I would say, first order of business. Uh, we'll make our way over to Jacqueline, see what the situation is over here. Galand, we'll see what the situation is over here as well. See, the thing about uh, Lanaken Castle is that uh, it also belonged to Tovir. So we'd be able to see what he left for us over here, what state of... Well, check on the state of affairs. You know, is it tier 3? Is it leveled up? What the garrison looks like? Uh, do we want to strengthen it? Etc, etc. Because, again, remember, Ortizia was pretty well garrisoned. It was pretty well garrisoned uh, by Tovir and the various other, you know, vassals leaving their troops behind. So Lanaken Castle might actually be just fine. In fact, if we take a look at our fiefs, if we take a look at Lanaken Castle... Oh, 87. Okay, you know what? Almost definitely not fine. All right, maybe that's what we do. In which case... My first move is going to be still going to Jacqueline. I want to pick up goods. I want to make my way down south. I want to sell those goods. And then I want to make myself make make my way uh, back up north again. Uh, now, actually, what I do want to do, though, is I want to get rid of... Well, hmm. I'm selling my... My shops at Sargot. But before I do that, I want to wait until I'm closer to... Uskar, I think. Yeah, Uskar, we want to set up a brewery because we don't have one right now. It's been a while. Uh, brewery, Sanala, Ortizia. Yeah, so we'll get rid of the... Ooh, you know what? The brewer at uh, Sargot is not terrible. So we'll get rid of the clother. Clothier? At, at, at Sargot. And, uh, and establish a brewer at Uskar because that is where a lot of money is to be made. Uh, as we've known from our experience in the past as well. And we'll see if there's another spot for like a silversmith or something. I do have a wonderful organized comment from the previous episode and episodes prior that uh, gives some advice with regards to safe havens for high quality workshops. So I'm referring to that for, uh, for some of the decision making here. Uh, but yeah, we won't sell the clothier at Sargot until, uh, until uh, we're ready to make the new purchase. Another thing that was pointed out actually uh, in the comments was it might not actually be a bad idea to rather than take away from the garrison at Sargot to further strengthen it because inevitably it's going to be the front line against the Batanians. Now I do think Ooh, Kazait here in a bit of trouble it looks like. Kazait here in a bit of trouble. Um, but yeah, so it does look like Sargot's own garrison isn't terrible. Uh, so that's good. It's caps us out, eh? Right, fair enough. It, it, yeah, so, so, so that's good. Uh, but in that same line of thinking, I think Lanak Hen Castle could use some uh, some bolstering, some strength. Yeah, I can sell over here. I, re I really should uh, really should pick up some more horses. That that time of us not needing horses is gone. Keep dumping more salt over here. Eventually, it becomes cheaper than its average. Oh, it's been cheaper than its average from the beginning. You know what? Cancel that. Reset that. Uh, let's sell you some of our armor instead. Something again. I, I do wish organizing by weight was a thing. Just dump all of these. Dump some of these too, sure. Yeah, there we go, good stuff. Some of these, yeah, don't mind if I do. Thank you for your wealth. Thank you for letting me roam a bit more uh, unburdened. Right. Over to... I don't think uh, Arwa is recruiting anymore. I didn't see her recruit over there. Let's check out uh, Aromank over here. I wonder what she's waiting for. And I will keep an eye out for bandit camps as well that need clearing, or for large bands of looters and all that that need clearing as well. Because, um, as many of you- oh, <laughs> I've been here. <laughs> Fair enough, I've been here too recently. Uh, as many of you have pointed out, you know, the small bands are vassals can take care of, but the large bands and the, uh, the hideouts, of course, are, are vassals don't take care of, so we'll have to be responsible for them ourselves. Over to Jacqueline, how many defenders? 283 defenders. See, that's a, that's a bit of a scary number. That's a bit of a scary number for something that is more or less in the front line. Now, is it growing its... Ooh. Relations... Oh, that's because they finished raiding Vanilla. Yeah. Um, see, the garrison's actually stagnant here. The militia is stagnant here. I can't do anything about it, but I was just, I was just wondering. Um, what I could do is I could recruit 11 Valandian armed traders, and I could go ahead and go to the... Keep, go to the lords. No, go to don't. I, I don't know why it always throws me off. I can go ahead and just dump 
these guys off over here. Let's go ahead and add these newly acquired Volandian armed traders to the bunch as well. Okay, good stuff. It's not a lot, but it's something. Again, gaining influence is not the biggest deal for us right now, but I'll take what I can get. Let's take a look at trade opportunities here as well. Should be able to sell you some stuff. Salt. Cotton. Yeah, okay, that looks good. I'm gonna dump some cotton. Only while it's in red over here so it's above average pricing not just more than i uh paid for it but above average pricing as well and i can buy here some jewelry i suppose we are headed down south we are headed towards you know razi for example okay razi is maybe a little too far but we're heading that direction <laughs> so we'll pick that up some hides as well this is very cheap the price of hides must have been adjusted um, because I remember hides being relatively expensive. Relatively. We can pick up some wool as well. I know we're above capacity right now, but what I'm thinking is... What I'm thinking is we might be able to dump some of our equipment here. Um, or buy some horses. Do they have decent horses? All free mules, sumter horses. Here, I mean, we're trying to up our carry capacity here, right? These guys are about carrying goods. How many? All right, okay, there we go. Sure, let's do that. Does that affect our herd penalty? It does not. All right, good. Good stuff. Now let's go ahead and sell them some stuff as well, shall we? Go ahead and drop off. Pretty heavy helmets. Southern Lord helmet. Ah, way too attached to some of these things. I should dump these off at my, like, stash in Charas or something. Just, like, store them somewhere. Get rid of this. Get rid of you, you. Get rid of these van braces. 0. 0.6 weight, 0. 0.9 weight here, sure. One, oh, there we go. Sure, something. I was hoping we had 102 of them. Uh, where are we? In fur cap. I want to make sure I don't lose you. Northern cap and northern fur cap have been very, very confusing <laughs> for the last very long while. Dump all these. Go ahead and dump a bunch of these as well, sure. 41 of them. That should help. Yeah, that does help. Go ahead and dump you too. Dump a bunch of these. Also, with regards to me leaving behind loot and prisoners and stuff like that, because we're, you know, not making money off them. It is it is money left behind, 100%. Um, and it, it's something I, I was, like, mulling over after last session. I was like, ah, I left a lot of loot behind. I could have made money off of that. Uh, but it's also, it also, you know, encumbers us, which was something I was thinking about at the time. I was like, okay, well, what do I want to, how do I want to balance that out? Encumbrance versus, uh, versus the money we could make, you know, making entire cities completely devoid of dinars. Right? It's like, how much, uh, how do I want to balance that out? And we're actually starting to run out of junk to sell. So that's something. And we buy anything else over here that's worth buying. Mm, I was thinking we could get more wool if I want to. I mean, this is this is as cheap as it gets, right? It sells at Sargot for forty. Are you kidding me? That's a profit. Yeah, and that's we were we were just there to. Or you know what? I'd be a fool not to. I'd be a fool not to. That's a four times profit for almost the entire haul there. Um, watch, we'll only be able to sell like five of them. <laughs> Knowing my luck. Ah, this is all good. All these are perishable, so. Dump some more armor down over here. Some Highland gloves, perhaps. Maybe pick up some more horses. Get us over our limit there. Still no herd penalty. Yeah, we're good. All right, fantastic. I believe I'm done here. No, I'm not. Still sell you some stuff. And one of these. There we go. Beautiful. Done. Hopefully I'm not going to regret those decisions. Uh, done at Jacqueline? I believe so. Again, not the not the greatest garrison. I wish uh, I wish they would leave some more soldiers in here. Three hundred and six defenders. Okay, well, yeah, it's, okay, it's better better than it was before. So you know that's a uh, that's something. <laughs> Galland, we should check as well. Now, Galland actually does belong to me. So between Galland and Lanaken Castle are the decisions I have to make. Thing is, Galland feels a little safe at least because Hongard Castle is here as well, and I don't know if the Valandians are going to be declaring war on us anytime soon, but uh, Lanaken, I mean, the Batanians could do. 
our, our, our tribute might be enough to keep them at bay, but, you know, who knows? Who knows, really? Uh, not much to pick up over here. I'm going to sell over here. Nothing's going to sell well over here. All right, done. Again, I could have dumped more of my junk off there, I suppose. Now, Aldhan, what are you planning on doing? Monchug doing some stuff over here. The Jawal are fighting alongside the Western Empire. Fair enough. And then a buy over here, and then a sell over here. Nothing. I guess we could dump some stuff, sure. Sure, sure. There we go. Dump a bunch of you off as well. Good stuff. Again, keeping an eye out for uh, for nobles we can hire as well at any point in time, right? There's a lot of warring going on. Ooh. Orstochorus is under attack. Oh, that's a, that's a, like a city. Yeah. I remember Orstochorus castle, and I was like, hold on a second. You are not, you are... Not about to take Oriskor's castle from me. How many defenders do we have over here? Garrison of 213. Oh, and a militia of 319. <laughs> okay, so these guys are probably okay. Yeah, these guys are these guys are that's probably these guys are probably fine. Good stuff. Good stuff. Back up over here, over to Galland. Oh, Aldhan's army is not here? Well that was that's trippy. What is Aldhan's army doing? Waiting in Galand. Oh, okay. Waiting for what, pray tell? Waiting for what? Uh, 11 Valandian armed traders. The garrison here is also actually quite good. Now, again, a large number of it is militia, sure, but they still act as a time buffer. They still give us an opportunity to respond, uh, which is which is worth something. Which is worth something. Uh, over to trade, though. And I want to make sure we don't run out with you know what before i forget because i know i will knowing knowing my luck i know i will uh over to the keep manage the garrison and what do we have here actually a lot of militia these camel riders mamluk heavy cavalry oh that's a lot of oh my god that's a lot of cavalry in here why why do you do this to me why do you do this to me game i the cavalry is like useless as a garrison all right, look, if I go ahead and dump these armed traders off, and I go ahead and level up my Valandian Levy crosswomen over here, what do we have? Oh, the one to upgrade here. Good stuff. Room for nine soldiers. Room for nine soldiers. Makes sense to train up some Asurai Mamluk regulars, I suppose. More horse archers, right? Not a terrible idea. All right, fair enough. One more soldier we can get. One more soldier. Tempted to get a Valandian Levy Crosswoman, because those sharpshooters, man, they, they get they get work done. They get work done. This guy's already trained up all the way. How about the uh, Asra Mama Cavalry? Sure. Let's go with you, buddy. You know what I could actually do is speak to Ottawa. And I await your orders. Let me inspect your troops. She has room for one more soldier, and you know what? That's fine. That's pointless. Let's leave now. Let's not be so micromanaging. Let's not get into that habit. What are these guys chilling about? Like these guys are just kind of standing there doing nothing. Um, all right. So that's the soldiers taken care of. Let us take a look at anything worth recruiting here. Ottawa. Like these are some. There are some good soldiers available. No, pick some of them up. Maybe no. I mean, I could pick some of them up just to drop his garrison. Honestly. Here, over our limit, that's fine. Go to the keep. Every time I have to manage the garrison, I have to, like, wonder where I'm trying to go. Uh, Valandian. I wish... Oh, hello. I wish new recruits were, like, separately listed. That's an entirely ridiculous request. I'm not serious about that one. Um, it's, it's, it's a request of the moment. Mercenary Crossman, let's go ahead and drop you guys off. And how many more do we need to drop off here? more. All right, let's go ahead and drop off a couple of hardened crossbowmen. Actually, you know what? One of you and one of you. There we go. Nice, nice. Five, fives. I feel like units should always be in fives. I'm right, done here. You know what? This is actually pretty good. I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad. Galand is well defended. Um, Galand is well defended. Alana Ken Castle is the only one that really needs uh, the, the help here uh, on this side. And I'll definitely be investigating garrisons across the board in Asurai territory as well, especially 
with our front against the Kuzate because that's where trouble might be brewing, right? So, so don't worry, I, I will be checking that as well. I will be checking that as well. All right, wool here sells for 40. All right, go for it. That's profitable, right? Like we still, this is still around average price and this is three times as much we paid for it. Let's, uh, here, let, let's stay down to here and then we know that there's, uh, we can sell it at 40 elsewhere as well, right? Um, hardwood, no. Eights, no, no, no. What are we looking at here? Tools, around its average price. Linen, around its average price. We can probably get better prices, honestly. Further south or something. Pottery, there we go. We can sell this. A little bit at least. Go down to like a nice... And sure. Per average price. Jewelry, nice. How much can we sell? We're actually carrying more jewelry than we've ever carried, I think. And let's just drop the one. Yeah, let's drop the one. Cows and stuff, they're all fine right now. They're not slowing us down that much or anything. We, we don't have a herd traveling penalty, so we're fine. All right, good stuff. Anything to buy here? Hogs, oil, beer. Nah, we're good. We're good. Any valuable armor or anything? Not particularly. All right, let's go ahead and sell them some stuff then. 31k. 31k. Let's go ahead and dump all of that. Dump all of that. Go ahead and drop you off. Uh, this feels pretty good in terms of uh, our junk being cleared out. It's just like, if, you, if there's that sense of like accomplishing something, you know? Like, okay, good, I can check this box off. Much more than I'd maybe initially anticipated. We need more loot. <laughs> Alright, you're right. I should have picked up the loot from uh, from that battle against the bandits. And these... These are good pieces of equipment, is why I'm holding on to them. Like they, 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 they'd be worth giving to somebody, you know? Like, Tem and Iron Eye over here. Might not be a bad idea. This guy is a frontline warrior. Equip him properly. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be unwise. Ali, I believe, is okay. And, and, and Fridina's armor was... Uh, oh, I, I, if you were pointing out the... Uh, the decor, the design. Yeah, I, I noticed that last time. That was a little weird. I do want to change that, actually. <laughs> Why are you going around with that across your chest? Um, the exact same equipment. I would like to upgrade it at the same time rather than just waste money over here. We are a merchant at the end of the day. We are merchants at the end of the day, right? Let, let's not forget that. Uh, okay, done, done, done. What do we sell you? Oh, right. Of course, we have a lot of junk here. Like this mountain hunting bow. Or all of these hunting bows. Or these step bows. Yeah, we, we still have a lot of junk. I was mistaken. Sorely. Range arrows, step arrows are pretty good as well. Oops. Bodkin arrows. I like never use bodkin arrows, but man, they, they, are, they are worth a lot. You know, let's go ahead and get rid of our step arrows, our range arrows, and our barbed arrows. Let's be real. We'll probably only ever use bodkin and piercing arrows. Uh, the merchant's banes are too expensive for these guys now. We could have sold one earlier, but we wanted to get rid of some of the uh, the garbage we were carrying around as well. Crossbows. Let's keep one in case we get a uh, a companion who needs one. Simple short bow. We've got three of them. I can sell you two of them. Sure. A little bit of money left. Arrows. Let's just dump all these arrows. That's not all of them. Good stuff. Money made. Good to walk away. One thing to check on is my shield. Because it is a pretty old shield. Another thing that was pointed out to me. We can not get an upgrade. We actually have a very high quality shield. We got it a long time ago. I mean, yes, this tall heater shield is a bit lighter. Uh, but we got the shield a long time ago and it served us quite well. Quite well. Alright, I believe that's us done at Galand. Um, oh, sorry, I did want to check one thing, was purchases. I think I already did, but I just want to be 100% sure before we leave. Play hides, yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Done here. So now we make our way over to... Now we make our way over to... Lanark and Asshole. I'm trying to figure out if I want to... Like, which route I want to take. I suppose we could go up to uh, Ravend, Oxhall. That's 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 the 
long way around Carban Seth. I'm thinking like, okay, we can pick up some stuff over here to sell down over here and maybe scout out some nobles that would be willing to join us. We don't want to weaken the battalions too much, let's not forget. We do not want to weaken them too much in terms of taking lords away from them, but at the same time, we don't want to be too weak when the next war comes calling, obviously. So I guess, yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Hongard Castle, what kind of a garrison are we looking at here? 620 defenders, nice. Very nice. So that should be safe. Yeah, I think we found our, our weak spot with Lanakan Castle. Uh, 10 and 17, I'm not gonna be able to catch them. They're gonna be way too fast. Ooh, 21 Sea Raiders. Wouldn't mind. Now nah, they're gonna get away. Oh, Askiran of the Northern Empire was ransomed. I was like, who did we, what barter offer accepted? That's what it was. All right, fair enough. Another seven Gs made. I'm not gonna complain about that. And you know what? We're we're topped up in terms of recruits, so we don't even have to stop at towns anymore. Over to Provend. Again, trying to pick up some goods, trying to drop off some, uh, oh, 66 looters. There's a training opportunity if I've ever seen one. Catch them before they get away. And again, I will actually fight this because I am uh, engaging only the troops that I want to trade. Prepare to fight. I think I won't take you alive. Good way to think because you're right. I won't take you alive. The battlefield. Not particularly concerned about my equipment or anything like that. I want to try and not be involved. I want to try and, you know, separate the, uh, like, I, I want to try and recruit some of these soldiers, so by the time we get to Lanakan Castle, maybe they'll be worth leaving behind. I don't want to have entirely raw recruits in my army at any, at any time, because at any time a war could break out, and I don't want to have to travel in the opposite direction. You know what I mean? Done here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Warriors! Infantry up front. Archers right behind. I would take the high ground, but I'm not sure. I feel like they'll close the gap to me before I'm able to do that. Feel like I'm gonna... Yeah, see, they're, they're moving quickly enough. Archers, hold your fire. That's the uh, original archer group. These are bows. Footmen, where are you? Coming through, okay. Archers firing away. Yep. Good stuff. Wow, this feels like the old days. What a what a way to celebrate episode 100. In, in my opinion, at least. is like, you know, just to... Feels like back in the day. So back in the day. Now, can we fire? Do you have... You can fire above them. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Firing away. Keep firing away. Charge in? Really? You're gonna... Now we are going to take some losses, obviously, but our Surgeon should help minimize the losses, too. Alright, there we go. They've given up. Well, some of them have. Some of them are still standing and fighting. Come on, now. Good work, good work. Yeah, we can see the leveling up happening. Well, I mean, we can see the killing happening. We can only assume that level ups are happening as a result of that. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Quick, easy fight. Cavalry. Have a field day. Horse archers. Go for it. Anybody can level up. They should go for it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that animation of them just like, yeah, thrusting the spear in the air. Oh, they've really done a... Uh, I know I've said this time and time again, but they've done a really good job of like, those little details, you know? It's just, it feels so cool. It feels so... Oh, man, look at the, look at the cab off in the distance there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Who do they call the horse lords again? <laughs> All right, now let's not get too cocky. Let's not get too cocky. Beautiful stuff. I think that's that's about good enough. I think that's about everyone wiped. Take a look here. Uh, a couple of them still standing. 36 ranked up, 37 ranked up. Good stuff. That went exactly, exactly as I needed it to. Oh man, it feels good, you know? it. Uh, I hope you all agree. It's always hard to like, you know, no, exactly. This is why I always say, like, I, I do read through all the comments because I do uh, judge what I should do based on on on, on what I'm what I'm told below. Three hundred. I can get three more. Oh, right. These are prisoners. Right. What am I doing? <laughs> these are all prisoners. Um, like I, I try to judge what people are interested in based on the comments. That's why I read all the comments. But sometimes, you know, in the middle of a game, it's like a decision comes up, and it's like, what would people like? I hope you all enjoy 
this is the callback to the old days to a younger partia al it um trading speaking to nobles you know all the diplomacy uh training uh, trading training and talking the three t's of party yeah I, I don't know man i don't know but uh that was good that was good that's a lot of leveling up good stuff even some for the horsemen and i do see that there are prisoners that are willing to join us i might wait until i don't know uh you know most of these are cavalry so it's not like they're going to replace people who have been uh put into a garrison we have an imperial veteran infantryman that maybe we'll we'll pick up or a kazate archer that we'll pick up we have we have options but talk about that when we get there all right good stuff get those upgrades done pick up all the loot there's that junk again that i was talking about wonderful wonderful and let's make our way over yeah ah there is the hideout over here it is it is in our territory but we're closer to Pravend right now. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe we go to the hideout later. Osticos. Doing more raiding, I suppose. Uh, now over here. Can we recruit any troops? Our relations aren't particularly spectacular over here or anything. But you know what? Despite that, tier 3. Sure. Because we are about to dump a bunch into a uh, garrison, right? Tavern District, seven mercenary guards. I cannot have them all. I can barely have a few of them, so pointless. But let us go ahead and trade. Hopefully we can sell some stuff at a decent profit over here. Um, again, like Asurai horses and stuff, we should be able to sell and, and make a lot of money. But at present, I would rather hold on to my uh, war horses, I think. What do we have over here? Wool? Yeah, wool. Oh my god, that's a lot more. that's a lot more profitable. Sure, do that. Thank you very much. Pottery is not a good idea over here. Salt. Hides. I'm, I'm looking for the real money makers, you know? Looking for the real opportunities like linen over here. Sure. Uh, let's, let's take it down to a price of 100. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Anything valuable to pick up over here? Wine, oil, dates. I don't want any perishables. No thank you. Hogs. Technically perishable if you, you know... <laughs> Shoot them a certain way. They do have a fair bit of money here. 61k. 61k. Alright. There's some of that money. And, I mean, we don't desperately need money anymore, actually. I should maybe lay off on, uh, on doing that. Save some of those for when we desperately need money. Now, more money is never a bad thing to have as well at the same time. So I'm going to you know, keep in mind, especially as we're going around trying to recruit people, you know. Um, yeah, geez, we can't even, we can't even just sell up a bunch of junk. All right, done here, I suppose. Yep, done here. Moving on. This stuff. I mean, I've started to question the value of the trade skill now. Like, the whole thief trading thing is so far away. Is it even worth uh, thinking about, you know? Over to Ox Hall, maybe make a bit more money over there. Anybody to speak to, actually? I should really be checking these more often. Oh, you know what? I should also be speaking to um, villagers from time to time to uh, see what I could buy or sell there. Especially as it pertains to buying horses, I've been told is not a bad idea. Crush these looters over here. Harmless travelers. Time to die, man. Uh, no, I'm not, not letting you join me. You're, 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 you're gonna die today. Wait, what? I hate when they do this. <laughs> they just gave up. Now we got room for you, sure. Dump them somewhere, maybe. They're not affecting our speed too much. Ooh, hello. Now, hang on a second. Hang on a second. There's a lot going on. Um, Elvania is raided. All right, fair enough. And then Lorik of the Lake Rats has been ransomed. We do have this hideout over here. Now, this hideout is... In shared territory, it would benefit the Valandians, but the Valandians, they're not they are not a threat to me, you know, so I'm not really worried about that. It would also benefit Drapand Castle here, and Valenby and Drapand, 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 however that's said. So I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and chase after this hideout over here of Sea Raiders uh, before we head on down to Ox Hall. Ooh, 40 Sea Raiders. All right. See, the thing about Sea Raiders is they're actually uh, somewhat formidable. They, 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 they can be quite capable with their like javelins and stuff. 
Um, we've got no quarrel with you, he says. Oh, but I have one with you, Brigand. Give up now. Never take us alive. I don't intend to. Uh, yeah, let's attack. We want to be less... Because they've got their little reinforcements over here as well. We want to be a bit more careful here because we might lose our recruits. <laughs> the Raiders are... They can be tough. They can be tough. This terrain is really not anything special for us. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Bowmen, Bowmen up here. Bowmen up here. Room. Can't, can't draw a straight line. These guys down over here, actually. You guys up over there. Going fast. Okay, front line is setting up. Archers are coming up, yep. Those guys are all over there. Stay over there. Hold your fire. See those javelins coming through, you can see how much work they're doing there. I want these guys charging from the side. Let's go. Doing okay, taking some damage here. Okay, buddy, listen. Today is not your day. Oh, maybe it is your day. Uh, we actually took some losses. We lost a Vlandian Sergeant as well. Like, Sea Raiders can be... Uh, I think it was to a Sea Raider. Or, or one of the Sea Raider, you know, soldiers or whatever. They can be problematic. Alright, time for some charges. By our cavalry. And by our horse archers as well. And these footmen, but I don't think they'll be able to catch them. Take what I can get. That was that, that battle was maybe not worth it. To like to do this kind of training approach with. Because we took we took quite a few losses there. We took quite a few losses there. From the looks of it. Oh, how did I miss him? Hoping our horse archers and stuff can get a bit of training done over here. Maybe, maybe, maybe some of our cavalry can get some training done over here. Anybody? Maybe I can get some training done over here. <laughs> or just whiff a bunch of shots. Come on now, there we go. There we go. Man, getting used to this axe off a horseback. It is funny how different it feels. Ah, they got away. To like the glaive. I mean, obviously, it's a different length entirely. It makes perfect sense. Uh, looks like there's... Nope, looks like we're done. Uh, I don't want to... It wasn't too bad, but, you know, it's not great. Two Mamluk regulars, an Imperial recruit, and a trained infantryman. Like, the Mamluk... losing the Mamluk regulars hurts. The Imperial recruits, peasant, sergeant, that Val Valanian sergeant lost hurts as well. But 23 ranked up, so, you know... Gotta take the bad with the good, I suppose, and the good with the bad. Nonetheless, done here. And Sea Raiders. Should I? Ah, sure. Why not? Billman, we can go ahead and make you... Yeah. A vul vulgar? <laughs> vul Volgier? New sergeant to replace the one we lost. More trained soldiers here, here... Here and here. Good stuff. And we got some Lancers. Yeah, good. You know what? Actually, that, 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 that was fine. That was fine. Good spread of training going on over here. And of course, still all these prisoners that are willing, willing to join us. Good stuff. Done. And all that junk. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, these guys have been wiped. Over to the hideout? Yeah, sure, let's go over to the hideout. Uh, I'll probably want... ...shielded... ...infantry. Is my guess. Oh man, we gotta wait until nightfall. And it's like the middle of the day. No. Ah, oh, yes. Fine, we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait. Oh, Zwan of the Northern Empire has been taken prisoner. Our Court of the Northern Empire has been taken prisoner as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Well done, my vassals. Yeah, Ox Hall is our next uh, point in this journey. Put and tie the mag, growth in the side. Alright, cool. Just making sure no one no one I love has died. Go ahead and attack this hideout. Uh, but yeah, Imperial Legionary, Surgeon Shock Troops. Who else is coming with us here? Sharpshooters, no thank you. Fian Champions, no thank you. No, no. 
The reason why I'm thinking shielded uh, infantry is because when they're throwing their javelins, I want shields up as we approach, close the gap, finish them off. That's what I've got going on in my head. I don't know how well it'll actually work out. We're about to find out together. Uh, Imperial trained infantrymen. Sounds like a good idea to fill in the rest of the gaps here. Kind of low tier, but an opportunity to train perhaps. And maybe some range. Sure, some range. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Watch, I lose everybody. Watch, I die, and, and we lose the battle. Oh my god, can you imagine? What are we up against here? 17. Didn't be a problem. We should be good. Hey, buddy. I should have brought my own uh, ranged equipment. Go ahead and get uh, shields up. Archers. All right, well. Let me see these champions that work over here. Blocking your shot. You see those javelins coming through? Oh. A little bit of damage delivered there. A little bit of damage delivered there. Good stuff, good stuff. We've actually lost one of our champions, eh? Like a fan champion. Wounded, I think. Oof. A little bit of help over here. There we go. Uh, follow me. Yeah, just wounded, not dead. Just wounded. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we take some serious losses. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we want to just make sure they're not able to Ooh. use their javelins. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. In there? No, out here we saw a couple people. There we go. Like three of them out here. We're all right. We're all right. Still just the one wounded. One's actually leveled up, so that's good. Watch out for these javelins, man. Closing the gap. Oh, ho, ho. I was so glad I picked my, like, lifted my shield there. Come on now. Come on now. Down with you. Oh, there we go. Fully surrounded. Oh, was that a javelin I saw? Wow, was that the Fian Champion firing from back there? No way. Look at that. Marching shields up. I love it. You know what? This strategy worked out exactly as I intended it to, to have these shields up. And, uh, and 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 use that to, to to protect us on the approach. That and 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 just as I had pondered and worried about having range was not a good idea. Oh yeah. Go on. Didn't think so. Didn't think so, buddy. Down you go. Excellent. It's fun when things work out. Still eight of them left. All right, all right. Not to worry, our fan champion back there guarding, uh, guarding our fallen brother. Where are you? Oh wow, this guy just like disappeared in the background. Down with you, quickly now. The athleticism of my men leaves something to be desired, which is not something I'd ever, ever thought I'd say, really, <laughs> considering my past of. Whoa, gee! Oh, that scared the crap out of me! <laughs> oh my god, that legitimately scared the crap out of me. Oh, we good, we good. Did I just improve my athleticism actually while uh, while my heart decided to skip a beat? <laughs> Next year I want to do a Halloween stream. By the way, I wanted to do one this year, but uh, didn't know what to what, what to do for it. But, uh, but yeah, definitely want to do a Halloween stream sometime. Alright, here we go. Oh, uh, here. Thought I heard a uh, hit behind us. <laughs> Man, my heart rate right now. <laughs> that was terrifying. FMC Raider coming, charging through, roaring. Oh, good, we're good. It's also a lot darker for me than it is uh, after my post-processing. So that, that didn't help. <laughs> Oh, all right. Good times. Uh, four of them left. Like a slasher movie, except I'm the monster. Let's go. Where are you in these caves? Where are you? 
there's our champion, so I assume they're not back over here. But, you know what they say about assuming. Especially as you can see one of them. Thought he was a pillar. In his old age, Partia Al-Eat grows blind. But not too blind to kill some raiders. We'll just chillin' down there, buddy. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Moving my one-handed skill as well. Three of them left. Three of them left. I'm trying to figure out. I think I know where they would be. I fought in uh, in this kind of a uh, camp a couple times, and the spawn points are always at the same spots. It's been a while since I fought, fought in uh, in one of this type. Come on, let's go. With me, man. With me. No reason to remain quiet. <laughs> I think they. Uh, I think they know we're here. That. Two of them seated there. Few of them. Well, that's all of them seated there. Okay, excellent. Beautiful. I come to your halls to greet you with my sword. There we go. Guys, slowly just kind of. There we go. Come on now. I just said that. I'll just, I'll just riff my style, man. Oof. Oh, that was a bad hit. There we go. Good, we're good, we're good. Over here. Come on, drop this fool. Oh, it looks like he's dead. And now it's time for the chief. There he is. Should I duel him? Hmm. Hard decision. A hard decision. You know, after last time. Certainly feel the thrill of dueling. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. You. You've cut quite the swath through my men there. Damn you. How about we settle this one-on-one? -on -one? It's better for my men as well. That's... that When... Last session when we got into that duel, that's what I... It occurred to me. I was like, you know what, actually? Dueling is maybe the more in-character thing to do. It's like, why should my men risk their lives when I could very easily save them and take all these bandits out? So very well. Let us settle this one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Guy's not messing up. Alright. Not a moment's concern. Not a moment's concern. Well done, man. Well done. Ooh, hello. That's a fancy looking. Fancy looking axe. I really hope I get that axe. Good fight. <laughs> Three leveled up, one wounded. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I will take that. Thank you very much. And that played out exactly how I had in mind. Well, not exactly, but you know you know what I mean. <laughs> it played out. S Somewhat akin to how I had in mind. Sea Raider boss over here. Uh, with regards to archers being a bad idea and uh, shields being a good idea and all that kind of stuff. But that's fun when that stuff works out. Yeah, this game is cool. So This game is so cool. <laughs> uh, that, that's it. We're not going to take these Flanian peasants. They can run free. We don't need to drag them into our wars. No, no Thamaskine axe. I should have just picked it up, eh? Actually, wasn't, I, I actually wasn't sure. Oh, I, I actually wasn't sure what would happen there. Good stuff. Nearby notables like me more. I don't know how much that's going to actually help me with anything, but it's something to do. Something to do. Go to Oxha. Oh, Dalabal of the Ashkas has been taken prisoner. No. Dalabal, Dalabal, Dalabal. I, you know, he must have had he must have had a party of over 100 or something. Bye. By sea raiders. Couldn't have been a party of over a hundred, right? Must have been less. Look at some of these numbers, though, man. Hot damn. Good stuff. We, we, we grow strong. I don't know, hopefully our, uh, our vassals' parties are also, you know, gaining their strength. Training, as it were. Villagers, let's speak to these villagers. But I've been told that they're... Good idea. To 18 old workhorses, which you'll sell me for 954 total. That does sound like a pretty good deal. That's not exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. What if you have them taking it? No, no, no. I guess caravans I should speak to as well. I don't know if those workhorses were worth getting. <laughs> Probably not, but we'll find out. Find out soon enough. Over to Ox Hall. Ottawa has picked up a recruit, dropped off some prisoners. Good for you. Workhorses, old workhorses. We bought them for how much? 
More than that, I can tell you that much. I can guarantee you that much. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we can trade over here, though. Any, uh... Wealth to be made? Any trade skill to be trained? Again, is that even worth pursuing anymore? Yeah, these numbers aren't that great. They're not bad, but not great. I mean, I guess I could sell some over here, at least. Sure. Sure, why not? And then I can pick up over here. Velvet's pretty cheap. Sure. Tools, yeah, don't mind if I do. Pretty cheap. Again, they, they, they can sell for a lot. But you know what? I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm just doing this by rote now. Because that trade skill is so unattain uh, yeah, unattainable. I feel like I'm just doing this by rote. 34k. Oh man, they can't afford any of these. Well, do you guys have any nice armor or anything that I could buy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, well, you know, we were talking about... Uh, I was just about to say that so we were talking about replacing Fridina's um, armor, but these are all just the same as well. What about a better helm? Probably not a bad idea. Get that on you. Slightly better. Alia, you got better armor already. Alright, good stuff. Um, let's go ahead and sell them some crap now. That was a very expensive piece of armor. That was an extremely expensive piece of armor. 22,000 left. Sell them all of this junk. Sell them this as well, sure. You, you, you don't need any of these. I really ought to stay, yeah, on top of this stuff. 12k. Just to make sure we never find ourselves in a position where we're just carrying so much junk around again, you know? Yeah, good stuff. They still have some money, but... What are you gonna do? How many how many days worth of food do we have? 40 days worth of food? Yeah, I think we're fine. What about horses? The war horses, Valandian Courser, don't mind if I do. We could sell you. I mean, desert horses, I imagine, are rare up over here, but... How, how about we dump some weapons over here? Are we really ever going to smelt a splintered pitchfork? Bent wooden war hammers? I mean... We've got trash over here for days. Easy money. Easy money. Again, we will be smithing more, but... The, the question is, like, there's the balancing act. Was I not at my cap just recently? What happened there? Um, tavern district, 14 mercenary guards. Oh, that's okay. Just wondering about, um... Where, where is Lanaken Castles down here, eh? Probably better off going down this way rather than up this way. Yeah, because the sooner I... Oh, can we not go down to your... Okay, fair enough. The sooner I uh, drop off some of the, my high-tier soldiers, the sooner I'll be able to pick up more low-tier soldiers and tr start training them up, is what I really should be thinking. Ooh, hello, Nikos Nikasor. Are you worth speaking to? First noble we've seen in a while. He is not the biggest clan or anything, but worth speaking to. Even if we don't convince him to join us, we might soften him up for later, right? My friend, he says, it's been a while. Oh, we do get along. We do get along, and why is that? I do not know, but will you serve me? If if, if yes, then let's make it so. Um, something I'd like to discuss. What do you think of Caladog? He's got dog in the name, man. What am I saying? As a, as a friend, you must know what I'm saying. You're my friend, but even so, this is a risky conversation. Well, as your friend, I give you my word that I won't breathe a word of this to anyone else. Nice. I am simply nodding my head and smiling slightly. Uh, I gave an oath to my liege. To break it, even for a good reason, would be a great stain on my honor. Yeah, so it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, you know Caladog asks you to do dishonorable things, but no oath binds you to doing evil. I have no words. 
<laughs> I have no words. By the way, to, to, to those of you who are pointing out high, how high a probability 12% actually is, yes, I know, I know, but it still feels bad, man. It still feels bad, you know? Like, what are the chances? Well, literally 12%, but what are the chances? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't, it, it, you know, it's episode 100. You got to have a little bit of everything. So why not that? I must leave now, friend. I will, I will keep you in mind as someone I can speak to uh, quite candidly, I suppose. But <laughs> <sighs> kill me <laughs> over to Lanakin Castle. But yeah, yeah I, I understand how probabilities work and, and, and the, the chances are still relatively high. Like I play a lot of tabletop role playing and stuff. I understand how dice rolls work, I get it, but it still, still stings, <laughs> still stings. Unkid fights in tournaments, who does he think he is? At Kasira, no less. Oh man, don't you worry Unkid, I've got plans for you and plans for tournaments actually. Another, another, uh, heavily requested feature for, uh, for this episode. Let's make our way over to Lanakan directly. Keep an eye out for, uh, for nobles, but... I get distracted by anything else here. Uh, I can't believe. And a skill point in leadership. Okay, I, I saw something move there. And I was like, "What? Who died? <laughs> Who died?" Yorig. Hello. I believe we can speak to Yorig. Yorig. Your name seems yep familiar. Oh, engaging some looters. Let that finish. Speak. Partia. It's been a while. Oh, it has indeed, hasn't it? I, I bet you wish it has it had been longer. I know I said we weren't going to talk to Batania nobles, but, you know, they're the ones we're getting, so. What do you think of Kaladog, buddy? Ah, uh, he's not interested. How long does this cooldown last? Because I do not remember the last time I spoke to Yorig. That might just be my memory. Maybe I spoke to him last time, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, continue our journey. Ooh, Forest Bandit Haida. I almost I completely misclicked on that. Um, <laughs> I don't want to clear out forest bandit hideouts for these guys. I mean, Lanakan Castle's stuff is over here, so I'll just walk by that. Uh, but yeah, a little a little quick cut there. I uh, just want to point that out. It was because I grow ever more nervous uh, as recordings get longer and longer that something will go horribly wrong. And so I felt the right thing to do was to, 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 to do a quick cut just so I could separate the, uh, the episode's recording into parts. Hope y'all don't mind. Uh, over to Lanaken Castle, and uh, let's get to work over here. I, I know that sounds horribly paranoid, but I've had terrible things happen. <laughs> that paranoia comes from somewhere, uh, from experience. Um, now the garrison over here is... Whoa, whoa, what's, up, what's up? Oh, I wanted to see what those were. I saw some level ups and stuff as well. The garrison over here is really not that great, actually. Really not that great. A couple of decent soldiers here and there. 87, 87 troops, and the militia is 227. So it's not the worst, but in terms of quality troops, it's a little nerve-wracking. Just a touch. Manage castle. Walls are... My god, are you kidding me? Working on Castellan's office right now. Alright, fair enough. I don't know how much I... Like, how long has this stuff been going on for, you know? Wow, okay, this is, uh, pretty, pretty ghastly. Gat? Ghastly? Ghast? Ghast? Yeah. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm going for. Um, listen, I'm still shook by that Sea Raider charging me from, from out of the darkness. Um, let's go and put some money down over here, because this is a joke. Put some money down over here. Oh yeah, 56 days? 16 days, that's a damn sight better. Put some more money down over here. Stellan's office first. The walls, I mean, the walls should really be priority, if you ask me. But this is partly done already. I mean, canceling it doesn't, like, get rid of that or anything, but... I don't know, man. Training fields as well. Let's get you queued up after the walls. Militia grounds, please. I mean, jeez, what a... What a... What a hot mess, man. Like, nothing's happened here. Nothing's been done here. I'm almost tempted to put someone back over here to help with the construction and whatnot. Uh, this place has been left completely underdeveloped. Uh, train militia. Not improving the militia count. 
better off with like housing i don't know about that bro um uh, I, I i i guess we could none of this is really changing anything as you can see maybe like marginally maybe like a a fraction somewhere you know but uh but nowhere nowhere significantly so let's let's stick with train militia sure done here okay wild anything in the dungeon here i assume not yeah no it all right but to the garrison almost clicked on lord's hall all right mamluk heavy cavalry you have no business staying here mamluk cavalry you have no business staying here either our ratio is completely messed up now for sure uh but not a problem not a problem we shall leave behind we shall leave behind some soldiers virgin shock troop imperial legionary all the Valandian swordsmen, I suppose. See, the thing is, we can't just leave some good soldiers behind. We have to, like... It needs to be substantial. Otherwise, we're just sending these guys to die, basically. There are Valandian swordsmen, all of them. Asurite infantry. Who else? Some range would probably not be a bad idea. Do we have a decent bit of range over here? We've got some master archers, we've got some sturgeon archers, mercenary crossbows. Okay, not not terrible. Not terrible. We'll do with a little bit more. Maybe some Valandian hardened crossbows. Nine of these. Good stuff. A pair of Valandian crossbowmen. Again, their upgrade is like down a straight line, right? So that will work out just fine in terms of upgrades. That brings the garrison up to what? 95. All right, we, we can give them some more troops. Can give him some more troops. Ah, oh, this. I really wish this would organize itself. You are all the way up over here. But that feels a bit better. Just to know that we have some higher tier. I was wondering where all my veterans went. I was like, I thought I thought I upgraded quite a few of you. I did there they are. Uh, okay. I'm trying to do by rank and also by number. I don't know how much that's going to help me accomplish anything, but. That's sort of the uh, idea I had going there. And the Valandian Sergeant. All the way up over here. Okay, good stuff. Imperial Trained Archer. Imperial Cataphract. Up over here. Trained Archers. I don't want to I don't want to do this in the middle of a session. I'm sorry. Last time. Just because I'm already in the middle of doing it. You guys down over here. There we go. Alright, cool. Five more soldiers. I guess I could put down some like Vigla recruits or something because they are also, you know, straight down, but they become elite cataphracts, so I kind of want to keep a hold on them. Billmen? Nah, they need a decision made right off the bat. Spearmen? A little bit of room over here for some Billmen, I suppose. Honestly, I could drop you off, I suppose. Might be a, not, might not be a bad idea to leave behind some of these like singles, you know? Oh, I would love one of these in my, in my, uh, in my, uh, army. Pretty cool. <laughs> They're like modeled off the uh, Immortals, I think. Virgin Veteran Bowman, you know what? You can stay back here as well. Uh, Imperial Veteran Archer. Imperial Trained Archer. Rebooters become band champions. Holding on to him. All right, I guess that's. I guess that's good. I, I, I guess that's good enough. You know, this plus the garrison enough buys us enough time. This might also explain why the Batanians. We were at war with them when we held Lanaken Castle, if I recall correctly, and they did not attack. Neither did the Valandians. Again, if I recall correctly. So, you know, so we must be doing something right here. There must be something over here that's doing okay. That leaves us with what? A fair bit of room? That leaves us with just 18 spots? Really? Damn. Okay. Look. 19 spots. 20 spots. Sure. Well, 21 spots, I guess. I must have done my math wrong earlier. Done here. Done here. The other thing that concerns me is that, as we've noticed before, a lot of these guys aren't actually leveling up, even though they're ready to. Uh, so I do wonder about... Like, okay, let's, let's get these 12 tribesmen. None of them are ready to level up. Are you serious? How long have they been here that they're not ready to level up? Oh, you know what? Right, there's no training grounds here. 
That's kind of funny. Begs the question if I shouldn't pull some of these guys out to train them. Okay, Mamluk soldiers. Pick some of you up. Now let's leave behind some billmen. Vision up ahead of them. Veteran infantry? Sure. Sure. Let's do that. I don't I don't know I don't know the value of that necessarily, but it's a bit of bit more of training, I guess. Mamluk soldiers, so we can get um a palace guards or something out of them, right? Either Mamluk Heavy Cavalry or Palace Guards. I'm thinking Palace Guards because uh, almost guaranteed we still need more infantry. Done here? Yes, for now. Take a look. 31 Cavalry, 96 Infantry, 100 Ranged, 72 Horse Archers. That is ludicrous, alright? That is... That is... Absolutely ludicrous. Um... Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem, but like it's it's not what we need. We need more infantry for sure, as I as I had a feeling. Uh, over here as well, Ottawa could do with some more infantry as well. In fact, I wonder if I should like take all of her horse archers and give her more infantry just so she's got like her contingent, as it were. You know, and then and then and then I would just work on building more infantry anyway. Uh, something to think about. Uh, we're done here though, I think. So Lanakan Castle now. 327 defenders. It's gonna upgrade its walls, it's gonna get stronger, it's gonna be more capable. Um, obviously, if a thousand battalions come charging in, we'd have to get personally involved. But with, you know, with 300 or so defenders, at least there is, uh, there's, uh, well, we're buying some time. There's some damage that'll be done, right? Now, what I could do, what I could do is I could bring more uh, soldiers for garrison from, like, Puyaz and, and, and whatnot, and, and Garantor, maybe. Man, you know, I feel like I really ought to drop just some more people off. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and and drop off a bunch of... Oh, come on. Someone's got to be, like trainable or something you know let's do it let's go ahead and drop off a bunch of the buildmen done a lot that is a lot and again it's our front line so not the best idea maybe go ahead and drop off a bunch of imperial sergeant crossbowmen as well as imperial palatine guard All right 121 we can leave behind the master archers some sharpshooters. Okay. Now, when we go down south, we'll actually be able to bring up a decent number of soldiers. That's that's what was kind of like throwing me off and making me feel uncomfortable about the decisions I was making. It didn't make sense. 41 Asrae Mount Look Heavy Cavalry. <laughs> oh, that's their Asrae. These their Asrae. Done here? Done here. Okay, cool. Now, I, I feel a lot better about that. Good stuff. Uh, so with that done, where do we want to head to next? Maranoth, we could maybe sell some stuff. Again, I'm starting to question more and more the value of, uh, ooh, it's a caravan. The value of, like, seeking this trade skill. These looters, 2.7 speed, you know what? An opportunity to trade. Get to it. Ah, uh, looks like a forest fight. Render or die. Justice demands you pay for your... Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. And let's attack. Gotta get that training in, right? Gotta get that training in. Okay. What are we looking at here? Footmen, let's move. Archers, let's move. Regular archers. Hold your fire. Guys are gonna come barreling towards us, aren't they? Why does it deploy? It's so frustrating. That like heavy infantry deploys over there. I should like. I don't, know. I don't like that they deploy to the side there. Pretty far. 
That's pretty far. These guys are coming real close. Distracted some of them. Archers are opening fire. Yeah. Mistake there. Definitely made a mistake there. Not ideal. Not ideal. I think I uh, pressed six instead. Really old habits die hard here. We're okay. Not the end of the world. We're getting some training in. Yeah, still getting some training in. Are you guys in? Let's go. A little bit of melee action there for our uh, green ranged contingent. Alright, fair enough. Not the end of the world, nobody died. A little bit of leveling up. Probably could have been better, but it's fine. That was definitely a mistap there on my part. A little bit of gold plunder. I don't need, I don't need these prisoners. There we go. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, beautiful stuff. Love it. Excellent. Great. I'll keep doing what you're doing. Got these billmen over here. Just because it's only a couple of them I'm doing it right now. Before it does get messy and then it's like 10 minutes of me having to fuss about with this stuff. Got you guys and we got the trained archers. Because again, these guys we should be seeing quite a few of over time. Yeah, these guys can go free. Good stuff. Pick up all your loot. Thank you very much. And keep on down to Maranoth. And Maranoth. There's a there's a fond memory. Escape from captivity, that's unfortunate. No more nobles to speak to over here, that's also unfortunate. Keep moving, let's keep moving. 32, ooh, more can. Did I just speak to him? Pretty sure I no, Amalgan is the one. I keep I keep for some reason I keep thinking more can is the one in charge of uh of Decortain. For some reason. I don't know why. We can't improve relations with them, at least. Go ahead and help Morkan's party. And we can just send the troops in for this one. Really no point fighting this one. No big deal. More for uh, improving relations. A little bit of gold. Again, you save our next part to you. Truly, you are the best of friends. Yeah, sure. Improve those relations. Don't need any more prisoners. We're good. Get the loot, thank you very much, and move along. Move along. Tomorrow enough. Here again, hopefully we'll be able to trade something or the other. We can check, um... Five hired blades. We can hire higher quality soldiers, is the thing. You know, back at like Charas and whatnot. That's my hesitation there. For sure, we can hire higher quality ones. Go ahead and see what we can sell over here. Some linen, perhaps. Yes, seems to be in demand. Oh, a little bit more. Silver ore, no furs, velvet, jewelry. None of this. None of this is well above average price. Maybe I'm being too picky. But you can see Sanala. We can sell this for 362. That's more than double what they're offering here. 300. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. We're holding on to these. If we're going to trade, we're going to do it properly. If we're going to trade, we're going to do it properly. We'll pick this up. I know these are low prices. That good stuff. What about uh, junk we can dump? A little bit. Not a lot in these last couple battles, but a little bit. Shields over here. Sure. Arrows. Get rid of these. Get rid of you. Thank you very much. 47k, 42k. Oh, you know what? I could have just... Hold on to that. What else am I going to sell them? Right. Trash weapons. Right. We got a lot of those. Holy crap, we have a lot. Of them. Iron arming sword. Spiked club. Oh. <laughs> got a little excited there. There we go. 148 left over. Here, have this rusty wooden hammer. Two-handed axe, so to speak. And uh, you can have my rusty hoe. No, you can't afford my rusty hoe. You know what? You can have it anyway. Let's uh, think of it as a gift. Sure. No, you know what? 
go ahead and pick up their Asurai horses. They've got war horses. Why not? Why not? Here, have my pitchforks. Okay, good stuff. Path, uh, sure. <laughs> 32 of them. What am I going to smelt 32? Get rid of some of these. Get rid of two of these, I think we can. Yeah. And a hundred and something left over. That's good for me. Good enough for me. Done. Good bit of money made. Um, any good recruits over here? Nope. Kind of expected that. I think we're good to move. Leave. So now we can go through Western Empire territory in the hopes of seeing some of their nobles on our way back down south. Go through here. Neonion is right up there, but it's like we don't need money desperately. We need we need nobles. I, I think that's I think that's what we need now is nobles. Um, I am tempted. I am tempted to uh, recruit and train some Batanian soldiers, but again, they're like mid to higher tier ones available. Like there are mid tier soldiers available back at home, and they can uh, they can most certainly be used to like to go from level four to five as opposed to go from one to two to three to four. You know what I mean? Let's check something here. These guys, are you guys ready for... What kind of a joke is this? Still paying tribute? These guys, I can make peace, but I'm not going to get anything out of it. Why would I propose it and use my influence? They don't bother me. If anything, they're training some of my uh, vassals' soldiers, right? Well, there's a silver, silver line to every cloud. Keep moving down here. Dorian continues to improve his stewardship as well. Alia continues to improve her scouting. Uh, Misui, the supplier. Okay, I was like, who? <laughs> Which Misui? Not, not the Misui. Good. Emold of the Brotherhood. Emold of the Brotherhood. Let us speak, perhaps? Brotherhood? Am I not gonna... What? Helmold. Oh, okay, that's why. Helmold. Missed an L there. I don't know if I can even... Know, we can try speaking to him. See what comes of it. Partia, it's been a while. He says, oh, looks like we got along. Something I'd like to discuss. Join me as mercenary. I need to speak to Oregand of the Brotherhood. The late Oregand of the Brotherhood. Fantastic. As long as you don't serve the Kuzate. Hmm. Nonsense like that where the AI can, like, cheat mercenaries into service, you know? A Landian Caravan Master. Ooh, Unk... Ooh, Unki the Asteroid declares war on the Southern Empire. <laughs> this, this man is grasping at straws. This man is grasping at straws. What kind of products do you have? Some sumpter horses. I could pick some more up. I haven't needed them in a while, but... Why don't I have my... Yeah, sure, I'll grab someone up. These guys are rich as well, goddamn. These guys are richer than some cities. What are you... What? <laughs> What's going on over here? Nothing I can really sell them. Maybe some junk uh, weapons, perhaps. Yeah, how do they have so much money? They, they're richer than some nobles. You need to dump some of these high quantity, low ish value weapons off. I'm trying to be cognizant not to get rid of anything with fine steel or anything like that. Honestly, I, I think we're good for money at this point. We're also good for weight over here. Like, we're we're not in need of more carry capacity now that we've dumped all these weapons. That was the big, uh... That was the big weight, you know? <laughs> we're literally walking around with hundreds of spears and swords and shields, just... <laughs> doing nothing for us. Oh, whoops. Fine steel. Even though I don't think it's actually fine steel. It says fine steel, so I'm gonna play it safe. Southern heavy maces... They have 120,000. Oh my lord. Here, have this set of merchant spains. What? How are you so wealthy? What? They might actually take all my stuff. If I try to take all their money, which I don't think I will do. Here, have some of these hammers, and that's where we're going to call it. 169,000? Are you kidding me? 
none of this stuff is uh, particularly above average over here, looks like. Oh, okay, sure. Um, guess we're done here. Yeah, sure. What just happened, man? What just happened? Nah, I don't need meals. Or do we need food? You know what? Let's let's go ahead and pick up some grain over here. You guys are best in me. Yeah, we're good. A pleasure doing business with you, Volandian Caravan Master. Soon I will uh, have you in my service. Alright, <laughs> let's go. That was a lot of money. Nice. Amounts of money. Rotate. Yeah, sure. We can put Rotate in our rotation. Western Empire has been taken prisoner by the Kuzate. Ah, no. The Kuzater may be gaining some ground over here. I don't like that. Okay. Wh why are the Astro... Okay. Wh where... What are... Why are the Astro at war with these guys? Have they gained any territory somewhere? Like Charon, Ga Gauss Castle? I don't, I don't know. Weird. Helmold... Villagers. Ooh. Edge Sayaron. You a leader or not? Saratus. Fair enough. You bold. Are you bold enough to be a clan leader? You're not even part of a clan. Lycaron has been besieged by the army led by Aldric of the Valandians. What? Who? <laughs> Who are the Valandians at war with? Who do they have the gall to be at war with? Uh, Valandians. And they're at war with the Asrai. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay, fair enough. And who's this over here? Apis. I believe Apis is someone we can speak to. Yes, he is. And I believe we don't get along. Yes, we don't. But, a fool to not at least try. Our Kurgit, Villagers, Helmold, Caravan. Alright, we're good. Facing this man over here. Look how fast we are, by the way. And you can continue to improve her scouting. Okay. Scouting's been impro improving a lot more recently, I've noticed. 3.1 versus our 4.4. Uh, Come on now. Oh, he's 4.2 in, in the plains. Maxim Monchug's army. Oh, can we speak to Max Maximin? Max Maximin? Maximin? Maximin. Nope, not worth speaking to. But this might not be a uh lame. I can say this might not be a bad place to be in case they arrive separately and we can speak to them all separately. Tinops Tinops? Tinops is worth speaking to as well. Alright. Epis. Let us speak. It has been a while. We do not get along. Uh, something I'd like to discuss. What do you think of Garyos? I have... Damn it. I don't know. It feels like you only get one one chance at convincing people these days. No, just don't get away from me. Don't. Oh, oh, stop it. Don't get involved. There we go. Need to, like... Come on. There we go. <laughs> if you please, stop there. I ask you for your name. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Tinops of the House El Elatis. Though one should not be too proud of one's lineage, I'm glad to say that we have always taken seriously our duty to protect the common folk of the Empire. I am Lord of Amitatis. It would explain why you're here. Uh, listen, we see eye to eye about some things clearly. There's something I'd like to discuss. What do you think of Garios? Because I should be the rightful ruler here. I know you don't know me. But, uh, you may know me as a man of honor. <laughs> okay. Listen, we're gonna get a critical fail next time. Right? Like, let's not get too excited. I gave an oath to my liege. Indeed you did, but Garius is not known for keeping his word. Listen, it's okay. The next one's gonna be a critical fail. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be a critical fail. Don't worry about it. Garius and I have been through a great deal together. We've been together in many wars, including many against your people, the Asari, I should add. Well, the cruelty of Garius is legendary. Who cares what he stands for if the realm is drenched in blood? And you said yourself that you care about common folk. Don't worry, guys. The next one's going to be a critical fail. The next one's going to be a critical fail. Oh, that feels good. I have convinced you. Are you even worth having? You know what? Kind of wish we were at war with him. But you know what? I'll take this. Like I said, I'll take what I can get. Very well. You've convinced me that this is something I can consider. 
This is a dangerous step, however, and I'm putting my life and the lives of my people at risk. I need some sort of support from you before I can change my allegiance. Very well. How about a little bit of money? Oh ho ho. Who do you think you are, man? Who do you think you are? Even if we offer him everything, we can't... Yeah, I was right to not get too excited. I was right to not get too excited. I guess no amount of money is enough money. Uh, how does that... <laughs> Okay, let me, let me see something here. I'm gonna reset that. If I just give him my money... Okay, then like, adding a bunch of our stuff... pops it up to there. Having a couple of Merchant Spains would've, I guess, done the trick, but like... How can you- how can- how can I predict... that 1.42 million dinars is not going to be enough? Well, nothing we can do about that. You wonder. Okay, cool. The next time I speak to him, I can simply jump to the uh, to the end there. So we should remember his name. And unfortunately, I don't have my notepad open, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and remember that. Anyone can leave the name in the comments. That would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Just so I, I remember to, to take the note. Abelitos, Abelitos. Oh, oh, oh! This guy's gotta be expensive, right? So that's promising, at least. You know, that's a, that's a, that's an actual silver that I don't feel as bad now. Now I know that I just have to seek him out after I've made some more money, and, and we'll be okay. You asked me for my name. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask your name? Abolitos, an Archon of the Empire. Are you? Are you? <laughs> Having an identity crisis over here. I know your name. You raided my tenants at Sinopia. And Neopa. Needless to say, I'm not pleased with this. This must have been one of my vassals or something. Listen, there's something I want to discuss. What do you think of Monchuk? Who is your actual liege? What am I saying? I'm the rightful ruler. I would like your support. You know me as a man of honor. Good stuff. I can't argue with that. Good, good. You have an oath to my liege? Well, we know he's not known for keeping his word. Like, consistently. Monchuk and I have been through a great deal together. Okay, well, you should perhaps, as a generous man, know that the world knows that you guys loathe each other. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of wish we were at war. Good to know as well. Maybe before we talk to Abolitos next, we do declare war. Catch my catch my drift. Oh. Oh, that makes. Ah, uh, I don't know if I like this um, line of thought that I'm about to present because it's a little cheesy. I don't like cheese. You've convinced me that this is something I can consider. It's a dangerous step, however. Yeah, I know how this goes. Okay, listen. Oh, he will join us. For a fair bit of money, but he will join us. Oh, no. Okay, see, so here's what I was going to say was... Oh, if we... And I'm not going to do this because it is super cheesy, so I'm not going to do this. But the thought did cross my mind, and I want to express it. He's willing to join us. So if we instead cancel this and then declare war on the Kuzate and then speak to him right away and then give him money and he joins us and brings his castles with him hypothetically hypothetically that should work i don't know if it will uh you know like we don't know if when war kicks off if the demands become higher like i don't know if, if demands become higher and whatnot well it's a bit of a risk to take uh, and I'm not going to take it again because it... Uh, and y'all correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But that sounds cheesy as all hell to me. You know, we're not like some conniver. We're not some, uh, you know, like the equivalent of a Crusader Kings 3 uh, spy master kind of a thing. Like, we're, that's not who we are. That's not who we are. We're a merchant. We understand trade. We understand good and bad deals. We understand that kind of stuff. But to do that kind of, like, conniving, that just seems out of character, out of place, and very gamey and cheesy. Uh, to me. Maybe I'm wrong. And because I feel that way, because I feel like that would be the wrong thing to do, I will simply give this man this money, have him join me. 
and celebrate the fact that we add yet another brother who are ever growing, ever glorious Sultanate. Oh, this is a great step to take, but it must be done. And just like that, we have further weakened the Kuzait. Just like that. One less clan among their many clans. That would have been a lot of castles we just swept out from one of them, though. Man, that would have been a move. That would have been a powerful move. But I'm happy with this as well. One new member for oh, more money than I would have liked to spend, in all honesty. Uh, but again, we can we could probably make the money back pretty quickly. A couple of battles and uh, a couple of battles and selling the loot. Maybe sell some... Uh... Oh, if he gets scooped up again, I will be very upset by somebody else. I, will, oh, I don't even want to think about that right now. Uh, Archon Gifor, if you please stop there, I would ask you for your name. My name is Partia, sir. May I have yours? I am Gifor of the House of Dolentor. Our family has served the Empire for generations. Well, good for you, buddy. I shall mark down your name, but you shall have to earn my trust, stranger. For the world is a treacherous place, and these are treacherous times. Well, on the topic of treachery, what do you think of Garios? What am I saying? <laughs> Listen, man, you know me as a man of honor. Uh, he doesn't. He does not. Fair enough. Uh, Garius is not known for keeping his word. Apparently he is to this guy. Yeah, we don't, we don't know each other, we don't get along, so I'm not surprised this isn't working out. I'll take the one success, sure. And why change sides now? Because I have a strategy. No, it, because it is... Who are you? Oh, this guy's lacking valor. All right, well, in that case, I have a strategy to win. My strategies always work, eventually. Oh, what well, do you know if that actually worked? Not that checking his thing actually made a difference, but... Not comfortable, that's okay. I must leave now. I probably didn't have the <laughs> money needed anyway. Uh, but yes, that tells me we definitely need to spend some time resting and... Uh, and smithing and selling to to caravans apparently let's loop back homeward bound homeward bound once more now we might get lucky there might still be yeah look at that distribution of all those castles now there might still be uh you know what i should have done is i should have brought buddy in abelitos before he's able to talk to me. Again, our relations are excellent, but that has meant nothing in the past. Bring Buddy in. Barter offer accepted. Someone from the Southern Empire. Okay, fair enough. Alright, good stuff. You know what? That, uh, that, that, that That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Moon him over here. I believe you're someone we can recruit. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. The, the, the Gilman. Over to Jalmaris. I should also maybe take a look at recruiting some soldiers. I don't have good relations with many around these parts or anything, which is why I won't get, like, high-tier soldiers. Or mid-tier, I should say. So let's hold off a little bit further. Anything we can sell you? 30k. 30,000. Yeah, again, we got a lot of junk. 15 Mamluk Lances, I doubt we need that many. One for the, for the symbolism. Narrow swords. Knob-headed southern spear. Umkid's preferred weapon. Choice. Island spiked club. Let's go ahead and do that. Ah, cool. Good enough. Good enough. Look at that. Look at those finances, though. I don't know. If, I don't know if that was worth it. I'll be honest. But it's what we did, and I will. Uh, I will accept that move. A little bit more strength is is. Is the silver lining declaring war on Valandia? War on Valandia. How do we feel about that? There's still some time. Is this 48 hours until I have to make a call, right? Hmm. I don't hate the idea. It is one of the things we were floating out there. They've got uh, Pravend and Ox Hall that would solidify our, our hold over here. The downside to it. The downside to it is that it butts us right up against the Batanians, and they, you know, there'll be border friction, they'll be more interested in taking our land and things like that, uh, whereas right now we have a bit of a buffer here. The Valanians also hold some territory up there, and 
And they were at war with the Asurai, but I suppose that came to a swift end. Um, hmm. Valandia, eh? That's what the council wants. Might not be a terrible idea. We'd, we'd be able to wipe them out. We'd be able to wipe them out. Not the direction I necessarily would have gone. I think uh, the Western Empire is the direction I would have probably gone. That's what I'm thinking. But for now, okay, we arrive at Ortizia. We have high quality troops available, not particularly. You know, I've been waiting so long to do this, I might not ever get high quality troops. Mercenary Guard. Being too picky, maybe. Maybe being a bit too picky. But Charas. Charas, we know, is uh, is good for us. And again, I can empty out some of these garrisons as well, right? I'm particularly curious about the garrison at... Um, Apis of Chinopsis. Oh, different Apis. I'm particularly concerned about the uh, garrison at, what was it, Barahal Castle? Was it? Einbalik Castle. Darius of the Western Empire grants Thorios Castle to Meritor. Conquest going on. Oh man, it's already time to decide. Ah. 48 hours goes by really quickly, doesn't it? Goes by pretty quickly, doesn't it? Everybody wants this war. Everybody wants this war. We are in the vicinity. Charas is where we were headed to pick up some recruits to fill out our numbers. We strengthened the garrisons in the area. We... I'm just like checking all the boxes. I mean, this, this war makes sense to a degree outside of that, uh, you know, border friction I was talking about, the border friction with the Batanians. And again, in-game, in, in character, you know, Partia has been contemplating a couple of these wars, and if, you know, Okai, Tovir, um, Odhan, Kalatild, and Hekard all come to me, and the council's support as well is with the war, what kind of a sultan would I be if I were to ignore them all, right? You know what? We need lands to distribute. These would not be bad. I mean, again, they're both cities. Ox Hall and Pravend, right? They're both cities. So as much as I would like to hold on to them myself, giving them off to uh, the 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 newly added clans would not be a bad way to give them some holdings. Giving them some holdings would mean that they would garrison them, they would strengthen the defenses there. It would mean that the Batanian front would be secure. Rather than I having, like me, having to secure it myself and having to pay all those wages. Yeah, alright, let's do it. <laughs> I was really hoping that I'd be able to, again, I could always say no, but to the same, at the same vein, or in the same vein, sorry, I, 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 I could also say yes and then push for peace afterwards. Like, how bad could the tribute possibly be if we don't like the decision? Uh, but just seeing how many people are, are, are asking for it, I would be a, I would be like Unkid to say no. So we go to war with the Valandians. Only because we were contemplating it anyway. It is an opportune moment, and uh, like in, in in every sense of the word, and uh, and 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 I I, I, I I guess it makes sense. We're we're like again the opportune moment is a big is probably the biggest part of it, especially because um, oh my, look at all these looters, man! Just shut some of them down. Throwing the Scholar's parties over here. I mean, we could get him to join us right away. A lot of people, I'm sure, are near us. Dorian. Dalibol. Uh, who else? A day away. This is already strong enough. I'm sure we don't need more than this, honestly. Well, it's not a bad idea. Marching around with thousands strong. That way we don't have to wait for anybody or anything. 
what are we looking at right now? 87, 139, that's 200-ish. 200, 350, let's say. 350, 440, 440. That's my own 300, that's like 700 or so, sure. Let's go ahead and get, uh, get some of the new blood involved here. Lek. Four days and 19 hours, like, that's not worth it. Address of the wolf skins. Oh man, well, these guys are pretty far off. Savannah, sure. Let's get Savannah in here. Yeah, give them give 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 us a reason. To give them lands. Um, and who else? I think that's okay. Yeah, that should be good. Bring them towards us. Try and dodge that party up over there so we can get to seventh and Charas and get those recruits for ourselves. Quite a few looters over here. Their army forming. Aldhan creating one. Excellent. Love to see it. All right, and keep your distance. I want to get the recruits here first. And we've arrived. Excellent. Recruit troops. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly what I was looking for. There we go. Good stuff. Still more room for more recruits, but again, that's why we've got prisoners and all kinds of stuff, right? I'm pretty, pretty happy with that decision. Again, I could have picked up some more. Lanakin Castle might be in... Nah, it's not in trouble. And hang on, I meant not to leave. Back to Charas. Uh, over to the keep. Over to the stash. And in the stash, we shall keep... Northern for a cap. Northern cap. Emir's helmet. One of them. The Southern Lord's helmet. Western crown helmet. We can walk around with that. Long time coming. Not just that. But at Charas. Oh, we celebrate our successes thus far and, 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 and get the people excited for the war to come. Get spirits up at Charas as, as war comes once more. I don't think that's a bad idea. And in fact, you know, it, by the way, just before I forget to note. If we wanted to, we could pick up some more high-tier soldiers over here. Not that I think we need to. I think we're more than okay. And these guys have been leveling up as well, again, because of our perks. Mamluk Axman, please. We don't need more cavalry. Or horse archers, especially. Especially horse archers. There we go. Upgrade all these guys. They're all leveling up nicely. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, or good. Alright, cool. Range. Where'd you go, Torgood? Torgood, there you are. Pull you up over here. There we go. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think we need to. But if I felt that way, like these Valanian veteran caravan guard, like what are these guys doing? In a, yeah, this is not where we need cavalry, you know. Don't mind if I do. Anyway, we'll uh. We'll talk about that later. For now, let's get the spirits up. To the arena we go. Let's join the tournament as we wait for, again, in 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 in, in a role play sense, wait for the banners to collect, allow our soldiers to get all their gear, pick up all their equipment and stuff like that, while uh, we, we send someone off to purchase more food to last us the duration of the sieges we expect. All that kind of stuff, all that beautiful stuff that, uh, that comes with war preparation. As that is happening, the Sultan himself We'll be marching into the arena to, uh, yeah, like I said, get spirits up, get people in the fighting mood, join the tournament. Melee group fight. Let's do it. It's been so long. It's been so very long since I fought in a tournament. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes terribly. Ottawa and I are fighting together. That's nice. Temin and Leah told her on the other side. All right, fair enough. Um, right, betting. We can bet. Let's put some money down here and let us join in. Uh, oh, dear. I don't know how I feel about this equipment. Rode right by me there. Okay, everyone's getting involved over here. Oh, dude, that guy got downed. Fantastic. Let's go, let's go. Here you fire at Ottawa. Oh, it was Temin. <laughs> Good stuff. And Ottawa dropped this fool over here. Temin, by the way, leveled up his uh, crossbow skill there. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, anybody Garotheon over here? 
and Fur Creed Horse Thief. Garotheon, do be proud, man. Do me proud. Let's watch. We're on Team Blue over here. Come on, Garotheon. Oh, look at those initial charges. Oh, do you see that? This guy got wrecked. Oh, you foolish knight. Come on now. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look how dope he looks. Oh, good stuff. That's what a Valandian sergeant looks like. Team Blue's gonna win. Nice. Good job, Garothan. Good job getting some skill points over here as well. Yeah, you have every right to celebrate. Not for much longer, though. Go ahead and put some money down. Let us begin. Oh, is this... Are we serious? Am I... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so slow to reload. Nice, nice. I've never... Never used a... Uh, crossbow, I don't think. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Did I miss that guy? We're doing fine. Probably should have ch changed my equipment out for... Oh, you know, I have a sword. I should have just... <laughs> should have just got in. Should have just got in. Oh, no. Oh, no. The ultimate... Uh, the ultimate matchup over here. The ultimate matchup over here. Partia versus Arwa. Let's do this. On horseback, no less. Oh, damn, dude, that was dope. That felt that was that was really cool. <laughs> you know, outside of the, uh, you know, let's not have the meta conversation there. That 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 felt super cool. Just like one hit, one one charge, one hit. Good enough. Come on now, do us proud. Team Blue once more. Win this so I can defeat you. Solidify my place. Come on now. Nice. Oh, come on, Fridna. Come on. Yes, there we go. Oh, interesting. Interesting. A little faint there. That did not work out for you, Fridna. That that didn't... Come on, now. Have you learned nothing? Have you learned nothing? <laughs> Me against As Asurai Mamluk Cavalry. Okay, gee, I wonder who's going to win. I wonder who's going to win. Critical fail time. Folks, critical fail time. Let's do it. Just leave instead. Sword and board. Right at home. Right at home. You will not deny me. Oh, look at that glorious beard. That was a good look, man. That beard. The one I just pointed to with my sword. That one. Oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Partia's party has gained three renown. Oh, what was what was the rest of that? I missed the rest of that. We win the tournament by beating Asurai Mamluk Cavalry in the final round. Renown gained three. Segmented skull cap over padded cloth and some earnings as well from the bets. Good stuff. A glorious victory. A fantastic omen for the times to come. Good stuff. A little bit of everything today. A little bit of everything. We had trade. We had travel. We had talks. We had tournaments. There genuinely was a little bit of everything. It really harkened back to the uh, the the early days of uh, of this campaign, and we also had the declaration of a war, of course, a war that we will pick up in the one hundred and first chapter in the adventures of Partia Al Eat. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to call it a session. Nothing more fitting than to call it. At Charas, having just won a tournament, I think, and preparing to go to war. A war that, mind you, we declared. A war that will hopefully see us in command of Pravind and Ox Hall at its end. In a worst case scenario, we can actually push for peace right away and flip that tribute. Let me know how you, as my council, feel about this war, and if you feel that it might be folly, or if you feel that there is no purpose to it, no point to it. Perhaps it would be wiser to simply receive this tribute, though there is no support for peace right now. It would outweigh the tribute we pay to the Kuzate. Not significantly so, but but you know, it, but it would. But I don't, uh, I don't mind. I don't mind that decision. I leave it to you. Let me know in the comments down below. And folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. And if you did, 
let me know that in the comments down below as well, and don't hesitate, of course, to leave a like as well. A two-hour special for episode 100. I hope y'all enjoyed the slight change of uh, approach there. Hope it wasn't overwhelming or, you know, too much or anything like that. Let me know if it was or if it wasn't or if you liked it. As always, I look to you for your feedback and opinions and thoughts. Folks, this is, though, where we have to call it a session. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time, from the walls of Charas, gazing out into the horizon, I bid you farewell.